Hello people, I wanted to uh, take a moment or two to show you how to create a what's called a miscellaneous item. And uh, right here I'm in a exercise here, a scenario where we've got some roof damage and we've found several line items for the roof so far listed here. All right, but we've also got, I'm going to switch over here to the notes, here's the scope notes so here's our roof and we've got we've got uh, a two thousand dollar tree removal uh, presumably based on a receipt right here okay and we're going to uh, head back over to Xactimate now now one of the things I let's do a quick search for tree removal so here's a uh, an item here tree removal per hour um, Here's a remove a tree that's uh, 12 uh, to 24 inch diameter, uh, so on and so forth. And the point I want to make here is that this $2,000 tree removal <clears throat> does not, it's not in this price list. Okay. Now, rather than taking one of these items here, like this tree removal here, trying to change the price which I don't recommend um, although possible it's confusing and problematic often for file review what I'm going to recommend instead <clears throat> get rid of that is that you use a miscellaneous item okay now here's the miscellaneous item uh, tool here so I'm going to click on miscellaneous item okay and it is going to set in here a miscellaneous item. Now notice that uh, miscellaneous items have some interesting characteristics. First of all, it is a zero cost item. Okay, so it's asking us to set the cost. And the description is generic. And the description is based on what you have here in category. Okay, now for this particular um, item, I am going to not choose roofing. Because removing tree, I would say, fits a little bit nicer as a demo, general demolition <clears throat> category. So I'm going to choose general demolition. Now, notice that the selector is M-I-S-C. It's because I clicked on miscellaneous items. So I've got category, demolition, selector, miscellaneous. Now, I'm going to put in my own verbiage here in the description. Uh, remove, or I can say, yeah. Uh, yeah, remove tree from dwelling, no fall off, um, C, okay, that'll do. I'll put a note to C attached receipt uh, later on. Okay, and, and I, I might have put this, uh, for instance, this no haul off note here because oftentimes insurance uh, policies do not pay to haul off the debris but they will pay to remove a tree when it is uh, lying on or preventing access to uh, covered property such as the house now um, I have a calculation of one and it is an each item okay it's not a square foot or a linear foot item in this case and I'm going to click on the uh, price button here and up comes the edit unit price information. Now, this particular item is non ONP since it was already com completed before the general contractor got involved. Um, it is not taxable, I will say, because the insured in this fictitious scenario actually paid cash. Uh, so we're not going to reimburse the insured for tax. Now, contractor, homeowner, it doesn't matter uh, in this case. Uh, this is. A, discussion for later which of these you choose this I'm going to keep this as contractor um, for right now and, and don't mess with line item credit line uh, uh, credit item right now that uh, credit item is a negative dollar amount and that has a different use okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the two thousand dollars here okay and I'm going to hit OK all right now I'm ready to add this uh, line item to my uh, to this room and here it is remove tree from dwelling no haul off uh, so we've just added a miscellaneous item so once again 
Uh, this is a process where you're going to add an item that does not exist in the price list that you have. We're going to click on miscellaneous item and change the category as needed, change the description, the quantity as needed, and the price, and hit OK. Uh, 